So we got to talk about the two major announcements that Facebook just had this week for e-commerce brands specifically. They announced two things. One, uh, about user-generated content for shops is now going to be available on Instagram. So users that are already tagging your brand in their social media posts, uh, typically back in the day, <laughs> social media managers are going to love this. Basically, would have to reach out, get permission, <clears throat> source that UGC through screenshots or whatever, you know, organize it into a catalog, and then they would use it within their advertisements or their organic social. Now, if someone's tagging you on Instagram, you can prompt them for permission, and then it's going to automatically add this product to your shop. Uh, I can get more specific with it, but it's a you know um, a great thing for advertisers. It's a great thing to have in your shop and your your um, shopping ads, where you can just automatically add this UGC that brings it to life, that gives you good creative. And then you can do sort of the facilitation and get a, um, you know, approval processes directly through Instagram. This is an amazing article. I'm going to link it below. Huge shift. This also comes with the major announcement. I'm going to just pull this up here that um, Facebook is now requiring checkout, which is basically in-app purchasing. So when you open, you know, a shopping ad, you can actually purchase in Facebook and Instagram. It's going to be enabling, making all new shops basically have this feature in, I think, 2023. Yes, June, June, starting June 5th, 2023. And then in April 2024, enable checkout with all of, so all your e-commerce brands are going to be affected by this. And the reason for this is because you can thank Apple for the iOS 14 update. Basically, now when people click on ads and go to the website, right, you're losing all that data. People opt out of all the privacy issues, and it's really hurt Facebook and one telling the story that it's a, a you know a lower funnel. Uh, phenomenon that it is, it's really harder to tell that there's all sorts of attribution tools like North Bream and Triple Whale and Hyros coming out, you know, billion dollar industry now that wasn't there two or three years ago because at attribution and data were so good in Facebook and Google and all that stuff. The networks were playing nicer together. Now as, you know, cookies go away in Google, it's probably going to see something very similar. I think they already have shop. We can pur purchase pretty quick. Uh, I don't know if it's direct, but you're getting there with Google, right? So now basically as April, 2024, um, uh, you're gonna to have to have checkout enabled on Facebook and Instagram shops so you can purchase directly an app. And now this can seamlessly give you better data, right? So you can click on an ad, purchase in Facebook. I don't think Facebook's actually taking any money initially and then basically go right to the consumer and tie into your CRM and all that good stuff. This is gonna require a lot of um, updating of shops and feeds and products. And you know, I haven't dove, dove, dialed, blah, blah, blah. I haven't dove into all the specifics of this, but these are two very massive shifts in the e-com landscape. I think a very positive one. I, I think I made a video on this years ago that everything's going to have to be an app, uh, especially with the, the new data privacy and Apple not playing nice in the sandbox so that they couldn't make a good bridge um, between the apps and websites. It's now going to go all in Facebook. So I can see this being um, every major social network is going to have a version of this. And Facebook's just obviously first to the game. They're the most mature. I would see TikTok probably being right around this. They already have like live shopping, I think, in, um, in, in their TikTok live. There's some aspect of shopping in there. I know in China and overseas, this is pretty standard. Uh, you can you purchase and do all that stuff and check out right away. Twitter is going to be definitely right behind this. And we have a, another big Twitter, couple of Twitter updates in this video. So be on the lookout. Again, being able to add UGC to your ads directly from a consumer's tagging. I think this in a shop, uh, another version of this will actually, as people post products from your feed, you can actually add tags to that UGC as well. So it's gonna get really crazy. It's gonna be all wall interconnected as long as the users stay on Facebook and Instagram and that all will go to creator monetization. Maybe this enables smaller and other creators to monetize as they post products and, and have tags on the product for your brand. If users click on those tags within their, their uh, creator content and then go and purchase, you get some already Amazon-ish type affiliate deal and you can be a uh, part of the conglomerate. This is really getting interesting. It's like the ecosystem through the internet is all becoming a version of like a affiliate. You know, you already made tons of money as an Amazon affiliate, things like that, but it's getting wild, major shift. I'm excited for it because obviously as a media buyer or social media expert, a big issue, and I feel like it's at the tail end of it's the hardest to do, uh, is prove the efficient uh, effectiveness of Facebook in that sort of purchase journey, lower funnel. So again, two major updates. The other thing to be paying attention to in space is Triple Whale, Hyros, North Beam, products like that. I know there's more, I think Adobe just mixed, uh, announced one that um, better ways to show attribution and show how the channels are working better for you so you can understand scale and also the role of the channel in your purchase, uh, you know, your digital funnels or consumer journeys, as we all know, journeys aren't necessarily as linear, <laughs> as direct as funnels, but staying top of mind with consumers, driving them to the site when they're ready to purchase. So a lot going on, pretty um, awesome seismic shift in
Facebook, and I like the idea of putting a deadline on it so you make people make the shift so that all of a sudden you see this in-app purchases, which could quickly make Meta and Facebook ads much more effective. So I will be pushing my team and clients to jump on this, and you should be too.